guys, Kristen here. Happy Wednesday. How are you doing? Are you doing well? I hope. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you guys are enjoying December. I am loving December. We've had three snowfalls. That's six. We've had three snowfalls so far. And snowfall so far. Why did that sound so weird? We had three snowfalls. Now I can't say snowfalls. We've had three snowfalls so far, and it has been awesome. It's nice and cold. I am just in one of the best moods of my life. So today I'm gonna to talk about my favorite things that I loved for the season of autumn, being that tomorrow is the first day of winter, my favorite day of the year, more than my own birthday. I love winter. Like I said, it's nice and cold. You got some snow. It's just my favorite thing in the world. And yeah, I'm excited. Anyway, got my bag of stuff. I'm just gonna open it and whoa. <laughs> forgot. I prepped this last night and I'm like, wow, I got a lot of stuff in here. First oh first and foremost is the best game I have ever played, Pokemon Ultra Moon. Holy bananas, guys. Oh my god. This game I <laughs> almost dropped the box. This game is amazing. If you played Sun and Moon, you should definitely, definitely play Ultra Sun and Moon. It is just awesome and the new mechanics are fantastic. They combine a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and it is a fantastic game all around. Loved it. Loved it. I'm gonna stop talking about this game. But, okay, I have to do this just for a second. Does anybody else, like, low-key love Guzma from, from Ultra Sun and Moon and Sun and Moon? I just, I can't help it. He's my favorite, like, villain. I just, I love Guzma. I love how he's all like, uh, the big boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Big bad Guzma's here. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> he's just a fantastic character. Next product that's in my favorites this season is something I actually just started like a week ago. This is the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Genius for normal to dry skin. I saw this, not gonna lie, on a YouTube ad and I was like, what is this? And then I went to Walmart to buy my typical weekly foods for work and I saw this and yeah, it's expensive. It was either $12.99 or $13.99. It was expensive for a three fluid ounce bottle of moisturizer. Yeah, I feel like that's a little bit expensive, but let me tell you, you put this on your face, it's just like, like it sucks in so quickly. It is amazing. Love this product and it smells really interesting. To me, okay, to me it kind of smells like men's deodorant. I, I don't know why, but in my head, I feel like I said that once before. Maybe when we were doing slime, I think I said it smells like men's deodorant. I don't know. But anyway, really like this product. I did not throw the glass bottle. Next item is very large. This is something I didn't mean to fall in love with, but I did. It's fake hair pieces that I bought on Wish.com. I believe it was like, I don't know, like $5 for 11 hair pieces. I got multicolored because of my Halloween costume and I actually picked up an additional four packs because I think it comes like 10 in a pack so I think I have 40 hair pieces because you know the little clip on the end, it can break and you know it's always good to have backup and I don't know what I'm doing with it. I kind of want to do some crazy freaking look but I just, I absolutely love these. That's all tangled. Maybe storing it in a little sandwich bag isn't a good idea. But it's a nice length and my hair is pretty lengthy so it blends in kind of nice with the length. Of course you can, you know, cut it. It's fake hair. It's wish.com. It's fake hair. And it's, it's, I don't know, I really like it. You just kind of, kind of just clip it in place. Okay, or not, or it could slip right out. My hair is still kind of wet from when I took a shower. So it might not work, there we go. You know, and now you got this cute little purple strand. It's cute. I don't know, really, really like these. One of my favorite wish purchases, that's why I bought like six packs. If you wanted to see these hair pieces in action, there's a card on screen for my Halloween costume of this year. You can see me with a ton of them in my hair. Looks really cute, kinda emo, kinda love it. Next seasonal favorite is one that I am in love with every single year and they're my weakness, okay? Like 12 step program is needed for these friggin' cookies. These are the Archway Gingerbread Men cookie bags. 
I kid you not when I tell you this is life. For me, this is the most amazing thing. I have a bag of these at work in my desk drawer and my coworkers like to go in, you know, oh, what snacks do you have? Can I borrow something? You know, can I have something? And uh, I tell them these are off limits. I will not let anybody touch my friggin' because they're my cookies. These are like, I'm, I need more. I need, someone buy me freaking I demand cookies. I'm caboose now, I demand cookies. Next seasonal favorite is another moisturizer. I was really into moisturizers from like mid to late autumn into like early winter because winter hasn't started yet. But this is the Renewed Hope in a Jar. Little teeny, teeny tiny, doesn't even, here we go. 15 mils, 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces. This little thing was $18 in Ulta. Like, why? But my sister bought the large jar, not the largest, but the larger, and she spent $72. That's a lot of money, but this stuff, again, like the L'Oreal Hydrogenous, this stuff is amazing, and it, well, crap. It's worth the money, okay? Believe me when I say this little tiny moisturizer, a little goes a long way. So you, I just take like, like fingertips and I just rub it into my skin and it's amazing. Smells heavenly. It's a very soft, subtle, it smells kind of like a moisturizer, to be honest. Really gets in your skin, really, you know, keeps it nice and soft and hydrated for these cold winter days when moisture just exits your flesh. Like you're a freaking frog or a slug or whatever. One of my other favorites was the one I dropped on the floor. It's the Color Brilliance Gemstones. It's this hair dye in this bottle. That is what I used. It's really hard to see now, okay? But that's what I used in the parts of my hair that are blue. The blue is kind of faded to like, almost like an aqua, and I'm gonna be adding more blonde and turn it to blue, so the process is just getting more and more crazy. But you get this little, ignore how crushed it is, I used a lot of dye, people. You get this tube, and this is the Sapphire Semi-Permanent. They don't make permanent striking hair colors, people. Like, believe me, if they did, I don't care how much they were, I would purchase them because I love striking colors in my hair. So it comes in this little squeezy tube, and it actually smells really, really good. For I pretty I don't know if you're supposed to sniff this or not, but it smells good. It doesn't have that hair dye smell. It kind of smells like good. I don't know. I, I can't really describe what it smells like, but it smells good. And no lie, no lie. I left this in my hair for 16 hours. Yes, I slept with it in. I wrapped my hair in a plastic shopping bag and a winter hat over it just in case some dye seeped out and I slept with this in my hair. Next is a makeup product. I'm not really big into makeup, but I'm trying to be. I'm trying, I'm doing, I'm sure you've seen me swing this around so you know what it is. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I love this concealer. It was expensive. I think it was like $24. I was using other brand concealers, but I noticed when I apply them, they don't stay on my face. I will look in the mirror at work and I'm like, oh my God, you see everything that you're not supposed to. So I'm like, crap, I need a better concealer. So I decided I'm gonna spend the money and buy a good concealer. And let me tell you, I love this stuff. It is, it's got this little doe foot applicator. Super easy to apply, goes on nice and thick. Little bit of advice with this though, it works better when the beauty blender is wet. I usually just use it dry when I'm getting ready for work, just tap it on my face really quick, just kind of blend everything in so you don't see blotches of strange colors on my face. And I noticed when you do that, nothing happens, so you do need to wet the beauty blender. Just saying, if you wanted to try this, I don't know, I absolutely love it and it's in the light neutral shade. I think I spent like 30 minutes and Ulta changing shades going, this is too dark and this is too light. And I feel like this might even be like a tinge too dark. Like maybe I should get two and mix them, but I don't have that kind of money. So I will suffer with like slightly darker patches. Next seasonal favorite is, um, <laughs> it's a TV show, but it's not, it's not just a TV show. It's an anime. And listen, I'm really not super big into anime, but I know a lot of people are. So, I watched a few, I, I won't lie, and uh, one of them is definitely my all-time favorite. It just like struck me hard in the heart, and 
I love it. I love it so much and that is Claymore. It is a friggin awesome show. It does end kind of abruptly. If you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, I'm not going to tell you anything. It is very emotional and it just it makes you feel, it makes you think, and it's it's a really good show and I absolutely love it. I am very late to the game. So I don't know. I loved Claymore. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it! Love Claymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, next favorite is another moisturization product. This is something I bought on Amazon, so it doesn't really have a name, but it is cuticle oil for your fingers. Fingers? For your fingers! It has avocado and vitamin E, it's for nails and skin, and it's amazing. I have used a lot of it. I usually apply it right before bed, that way it kind of like soaks in while I'm sleeping and, you know, flailing all over the place so it goes everywhere. But you know, whatever, that's what I do, people. Next is another makeup item. It's the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. It's what I'm wearing right now on my eyeballs. I love this stuff. I was never really big into like eyeliner on the top lid, but I was like, I'm gonna do it. So I did it, and I absolutely love the way it looks. Ignore the right eye, it looks a little smudgy. My eyes started watering, like I just, I can't control it, okay? You know, it's just, it happens. But anyway, love this pencil, it's amazing. It's not like a twisty, like you actually have the pencil sharpener, which I didn't have, so I had to go out and buy a pencil sharpener. You know, I just, who uses pencils anymore? Well, unless you're like an architect or an artist, which I'm neither, so. I didn't have a pencil sharpener, but anyway, totally off topic. I love this product. It's amazing. It was kind of expensive as most higher end brands are. Next seasonal favorite is a song. It is What You Know by Tudor Cinema Club. I actually heard it from my supervisor. She was playing it on her radio and I was like, what song is this? It's amazing. So then I Google searched it and I downloaded it myself. And uh, I have it on my Spotify and it's, uh, first off, okay, hold on. I am like really, really, really late to the party with most things, but Spotify is amazing, okay? I just, I have been obsessed with Spotify, especially like the, with all the playlists, they, they make the My Mix playlist, which is like a, like a mix of different genres that you've listened to, and I'm like, oh my god, this is like 90s pop, I like this, and oh my god, this is like emo music. Are you surprised? Oh my god! Like, and I was just, I love Spotify, but anyway, got it on Spotify, heard it, loved it, have the song, like, just, good jam, it's a good jam, it's very like techno -y and very like poppy and upbeat but the lyrics are almost kind of like stab you in the back kind of but at the same time it's like it's okay but I don't know I love the song all right okay we're down to the second to last item and that is the Aztec secret Indian healing clay face mask now let me tell you let me just say let me tell you this is the best face mask I have ever used in the entirety of my existence now let me tell you how it works so the mask itself is a very, very loose powder. It's like this tan with a tinge of green. Tinge, is that is that a word? I don't know, I keep using it, so I'm making it a word. Tinge is a word, patent it. Anyway, so what you do, you can either mix this with water or apple cider vinegar. I prefer ACV, I notice better results. I have tried both ways. And you put it on, I usually use like that mask spatula thing and you wait 15 to 20 minutes and the mask gets very tight and very hard and you feel your face pulsing. Yeah, you can literally feel your face pulsing and it's so tight that it makes your eyes go like this and it like puffs out your face like this and it looks really freaking thumbnail. It looks really freaking creepy, but it works. It tones down the redness in maybe some trouble areas. It deep cleanses your pores. It tightens your skin. It just makes you look amazing. Amazing! It is kind of painful laying there, feeling your face pulse, trying very hard not to think about it, but you wind up thinking about it because you feel a constant pulse on your face. But anyway, bought this on an ad. Yeah, I saw it on a social media ad, don't judge me. I really need to stop doing that because I don't know if they're legit, but $11 for one pound of magical Aztec clay. 
I like that. Last and final seasonal favorite is, without a shadow of a doubt, you guys, like I say, I don't say it enough, honestly. I don't, I love you guys, and I appreciate you doing the silly little things I ask you to do, like, like this video, and leave me comments, and tell me how your day's going, and you guys always follow through, and you always make me feel super special, and you make me feel like, I don't know, like we're a big freaking group of friends and everything is just awesome and I just want to say thank you and of course I love you all of you each and every one of you guys except for you no I'm just kidding I love you and I words can't really describe the way you make me feel and this channel is slowly kind of grown a little bit and we get new friends maybe every week or every couple weeks welcome to everyone who's new and I don't know I just I love it we're a big freaking group of friends and it's just so exciting and yeah I, you guys are amazing I don't I don't know I don't know what else, what else to say and I can't find the right words to say it but thank you thank you for liking my videos watching my videos commenting following me on Instagram and just all the support that I get from you I don't know okay I'm gonna stop gushing <laughs> I just I don't know I just I love you I don't know <laughs> okay so my camera has been flashing the battery is low symbol at me for the past 20 minutes and I have stopped and charged it and stopped again so I don't want to get cut off so I'm gonna end this video here just wanted to ask any of my favorites, are they your favorites? Do you like Urban Decay? Do you like the winter? Do you like the snow? Do you like gingerbread men? If you don't, what? Why not? How I got cut off and really didn't feel like putting the freaking camera back on the tripod, so I'm holding it. I know it might be out of focus and very shaky, so I apologize, but I'm gonna make this quick. Anyway, what was your favorite of the season of autumn? Do you like autumn? Did you not like autumn? My allergies get really, really bad in the autumn time, so I totally understand if you didn't like it. But anyway, if you like this video or any of my other videos, give them a thumbs up. Let me know you like them, and I know to make more of them. If you want, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash naturallyvenomous. You can follow me on Instagram at naturallyvenomous. You can leave me a video suggestion in the comments if you like. I know I have keep getting cut off. If you want, you can leave video suggestions in the comments. I do have some for the start of the year 2018. Get excited, be prepared for that. And this is Kristen, and I am signing off. Finally, I was able to finish my outro without getting cut off. That's exciting.